In Indonesia's West Kalimantan, in the city of Pontianak, these people were waiting to welcome their family and friends. But anticipation turned to devastation as they heard flight SJ-182 had gone missing. This man was waiting for his daughter. I was supposed to pick them up. This is my first daughter. I won't ever see them again. More than 60 people were on board the Sriwijaya flight from Jakarta to Pontianak. Infants and children were among the passengers. The plane lost contact just four minutes after takeoff. Jakarta approach. Controllers at the Jakarta approach saw that the plane was not flying at 75 degrees, but was heading northwest. The air traffic control asked the pilots to confirm where they were heading. Not long after, within seconds, the plane went missing from the radar. The Boeing 737-500 was at least 25 years old. The flight had been delayed by 30 minutes due to heavy rain in the Indonesian capital. A search team says they believe they have found debris from the plane in the sea close to the Thousand Islands, north of Jakarta. The National Search and Rescue Agency and Navy have dispatched teams to the area. Fishermen say they heard a loud crash. Authorities have established a crisis centre here at Sukarno Hatta Airport, Indonesia's busiest airport, for relatives of those on board to speak with authorities and find out what happened to their loved ones. They've also established a crisis centre in Pontianak in West Kalimantan for relatives who are waiting at the airport for their loved ones to disembark. In Jakarta, Arya found out his family had been on board. Around 5.30 I heard the news. I asked my friends to make sure that it was right and it was. Four of my family members were among the victims. Sriwijaya Air has never had a major safety incident. Authorities say they are working swiftly to find out what went wrong.